Hello everyone, here I'm back with another video illustrating within Kitra. As you can see, I'm starting out with a sketch that I bring into Krita. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. I'm aiming to add some more content constantly to my channel regarding my painting process and how I go about my illustrations. Here you can see me rearranging the viewport so I can work comfortably within Kitra. I use a tablet so it's more comfortable for me to have every tool available to one side of the screen. I usually start with an underlayer with the sketch and I have a separate layer for the inking and one for the background. That allows me to edit and modify anything I need to without running into any issues. If I want to, for instance, add a fill to the illustration, I can do it on a separate layer and not have to worry about affecting the actual ink that I added, which makes it way more convenient to work in digital mediums. Although you can also do it in one layer I don't recommend it as much because it feels as more work, as more labor basically. When you work traditionally, you're working on just one layer and that's how you have to go about it. And you can definitely work that way. It depends on what exactly you are trying to achieve. If what you want to do is geared towards a client or that you want to do different iterations it's easier to have it on separate layers so you can go back and make tweaks to whatever you need to and then re-export that and you're good to go here I'm re-iterating on the pose as I wasn't happy with the original pose, I looked for some references for the meditation pose, which makes it way better to my eyes to create the look that I wanted. I also fixed the legs, as you can see there, so it would make more sense. Although, of course, this is a cartoon, I'm having to interpret the, the pause as hands in this instance so that's why you see me redraw that trying to consider what stylization I want to do with the hands of the character Here I set on a specific look that I'm happy with at the moment. Then I move on to cleaning, cleaning up the uh, outline as you can see me doing here as much as I can. There's always room for improvement although I'm happy with how it turned out in the end. I'm flipping the canvas, it's always a good practice to have so that way you don't get accustomed to what you're looking at and maybe let go of a mistake or something that might be off about the proportions of a character. It's a good practice to have that allows you to fix things that you might not notice if you leave it just one way. Actually when you're doing work on traditional mediums you also do that you step away from the painting you get closer tilt your head around to see it in different angles so you can 
estimate exactly where to focus on and what is not working, what is working on the actual painting, drawing, creation that you're doing. Here I added other elements to the composition. I'm influenced by artists such as Muka, that is uh, an artist that I really enjoy. If you haven't seen his work, it's amazing. Of course, this is just an influence I have. Sometimes I add aspects of what he used to do uh, to my work, even so subconsciously. If you see his work, it's really amazing. He used to do uh, posters for different subject matters. Usually it was a character with some auras around them and heavy strokes, which made emphasis on the character that he was portraying on the painting. It was really interesting work. If you see all that he did, it was really consistent and really interesting. It, it made a difference in the styles of his time. There were many people that got influenced by his work and inspired by his work and he's still a reference to a lot of artists. The inspiration for this painting was basically the capybaras. They are really like calm creatures, really nice creatures. So I was trying to portray the aspects of, that I see on them, that you can see them calm and with what seems as no worries in the world. So that's what I'm trying to portray. By this point, I'm adding some shading to the painting and using a brush that allows you to use kind of a half tone to create the shading. It's really cool. Although I wasn't happy with the background, it felt to me like it was taken away from the illustration and looked kind of messy. So I decided to take it out in the end. I might go back and just leave it for the character. That is something that I liked. So yeah, overall, this is this video is sped up. Although my process took around, I don't know, two hours, something around those lines. Taking my time, of course, and screen recording this and took a little bit of a break here and there usually that's the time it takes me to get to something like this of course it depends sometimes it's quicker sometimes it takes a little bit longer although if you want to go with even more detail it might take longer to do Here I'm saving the files. If you notice, I'm exporting there a video of the timeline. Here's the final result. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing or checking out my other videos. Bye.